What's up, everybody? We back at it again. It's that time. This time, it's the Pixel Watch 3. 45 millimeter version. So I got the Pixel 9 Pro XL video. I got the Pixel 9 Pro Fold video. And now we're going with the Pixel Watch 3 45 millimeter video. Just arrived, so as before, we're just gonna bust out a quick unboxing and check this baby out. Nothing special. Ooh. I did have the uh, first Pixel Watch and I have the Pixel Watch 2, which I'm currently wearing now. So I decided to upgrade. The only thing I've been waiting on was for them to make a bigger size watch and they did. Have our usual box with the, nothing much on it. Just like with the phones, they have the uh, environmental friendly packaging. Figure out how this opens. Swimming it slides out. One at the top. And then one at the bottom. Nice. Not sure what this bottom one is, but we'll find out. Let's open this first. See what's in here. Come on out of there. Oh, it's the watch itself. Nice. I went with the matte hazel, I believe it was called. I like the looks of it. It's kind of a, um, well in this light, it's kind of a um, grayish looking, but I'm sure in brighter light, it'll probably look a little different. I don't know if I can, Turn on my flashlight here on the phone. Yeah, it's got more of a, I don't know, a grayish, greenish kind of color. A little bit of blue mixed in. It's hard to describe. I'm not really sure what hazel is supposed to be, but it's not really gray. It just looks gray in certain light. So we'll see. So there you have the watch itself. Over here, I'm assuming we have the band. Nice. Figuring this stuff out. It's always like a puzzle. It's not bad. How it matches up to the watch. It's a little more of a light grayish, but still matches the watch. But again, I don't know why I keep saying gray. It's not really gray. It's, it's more of a gray green, kind of. I don't even know how you describe hazel. I don't know what hazel is supposed to be. Uh, nothing else in that. Underneath, we have our booklets and a little explanation of how to put the band on, which seems to be the same as the last two watches. Nothing too complicated. Have our Pixel Watch 3 booklet in here. And English, again, describing putting the band on taking the band off and then just some warranty safety regulatory guide stuff that's pretty much it then underneath we have the longer band I have small wrists so I usually go with the shorter band but it's nice that they provide both a longer and a shorter band for those 
of you who have bigger wrists. But over here to the side, you see that I also bought a band. This is the woven band. One size fits all for the 45 millimeter. I really wanted the stretch band because I enjoyed that one uh, that I had on my Pixel Watch 1. I didn't end up buying one for the Pixel Watch 2, but I did like that band. I was going to get one for the Pixel Watch 3, but apparently they only have the stretch band available for the 41 millimeter size. So we'll have to wait on that. But let's go ahead and turn this on. Maybe. I'm assuming it's that button. Or maybe it's the crown. Can't remember. Okay, it's the crown. Like, this one never dies, so I hardly ever turn it off. So it's been a while since I've had to boot it back up because I usually put this one on charger before it even dies. So I'm not used to booting it up from um, start. Anyway, while that's booting, let's go ahead and open the band. This is the ivory color. It's what it's called on Google Store. Come out of there. All right, it's gonna be difficult. There we go. Nothing else in there. At least they're consistent with the uh, packaging. Let's see here. Try to go with one that was match up with the watch. I didn't want to go with anything too bright. So I ended up going with this one. I would like to have a blue one, but a blue wouldn't really match the color of the watch. So I ended up going with this one. I mean, I like the material. It's not as soft as the stretch band but it's better than the leather. I figured the leather one because I uh, go to the gym and sweat a lot. Um, for some reason, these bands always uh, cause rashes and stuff on me when the sweat gets on them. I try to keep them clean, you know, with soap and stuff, dishwashing soap to keep the sweat from building up on them and the, the dirt from your skin when you work out but i still seem to like get the rashes and stuff from them so i went with the woven one here which is cloth so i shouldn't have that issue i'm hoping but yeah basically you just adjust it here longer or shorter and just snaps it on And you're good to go, not too bad. Yeah, that's close enough. Let's see if I can fit this on here. Right on there the first time. And this side. Or did I put these on backwards? I might have put these on backwards, but it goes that way. And then slides right on, just like that. Easy peasy. I like it. All right, let's see. Get my fold here. Do, do, do. Confirm. 
connecting to your watch. Let's see how long this takes. Sign in to your Google account. Let's do that. Continue. Signed in. Copy your Google accounts to your watch. Copy. Confirm. Signing in. Just like that. Pretty easy. Location, back up your watch, automatic updates. I agree, you're gonna get it anyway, so why try hiding the information? Let's see here. Still connecting. Limited warranty. Continue. So far, I've been pretty seamless. Restore your backup from 13 hours ago. Um, do I want to do this one fresh or restore? Hmm. Yeah, let's just restore. Enter your old pin. Boop. Continue on phone. Place watch on charger. Keep your watch on the charger to restore your backup. All right, well, we're not gonna do that right now. I'll reset it later. I'm trying to get into the watch. Um, yeah, I wear mine on the right. Don't know why. Which wrist is it on? Right. Continue. Elevate the well being with Google Fitbit. Uh, not now. Continue. Um, sure. Access with Hey Google. Activate voice match. Your assistant is set up. Set a lock for your watch. Not right now. Not now. Select apps. Let's see what apps it has. Do do do. All trails, Spotify. Yeah, whatever. We'll skip those for now. Your watch is ready. I wasn't timing, so I don't know how long that took, but it's pretty seamless. Didn't run into any issues. Connect Fitbit. Uh, we'll do that later. No. Set up emergency SOS. No. So there we have it. Watch is still starting, but we are in. Let's review some navigation basics. No thanks, we already know. And there we have it. Explore your new watch. Let's see, what do we have in here? Terminus and plus. And then change all your complications. I don't know what plus is, but I'm gonna choose it. So we have minimal layout and plus layout. Let's see what minimal is. Oh, so it makes everything bigger, but you lose some of the stuff around the sides. It's pretty cool. I may go with that, but let's go back to plus. Okay, so plus adds in more information, but shrinks stuff down but i mean that's still bigger than what it was on the 41 millimeter even with the extra stuff on here but it's nice that you have a choice so if you if you don't care about the other stuff and you just want the big readout there you go choose minimal 
I think I'm gonna stick with plus for now. Uh, I don't know what terminus is a color. Um, vermilion, parakeet, sterling, aquifer, aquifer. Uh, let's go with nightcrawler. Oh, what you talking? What you talking, dog? What? Already liking that. We sticking with Nightcrawler. It's craziness. I'm not gonna go through all the complications, but you can change these to a couple of different things. I'll probably keep mine on this because I do like having the uh, heart rate right there on the screen to view it throughout the day. And your steps, temperature, and I may throw uh, calories on there too. But for now, I'm liking it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Get your steps, heart rate. There's all your activities. I uh, got add more. Send a message. Create your own, choose an action below. I do not know what that is. Weather. And then you got home. And there we have it. Nice. Usual stuff. I'm not gonna go too far into everything. Because most of it's pretty much the same as before. Health profile, security, system. Let's see if there's an update. Your watch is up to date, September 5th. Input methods. So yeah, all this is pretty much the same, nothing too special about it. Sound. Mute ring and notifications. I don't know why I would want to mute those. Silences alarm when mute ring is enabled while worn. Watch will still vibrate. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see the um, improvement to the battery from the Pixel Watch 2 41 to the Pixel Watch 3 45 millimeter. I guess I could take my other watch off and compare them a little bit. have it there's definitely a good size difference and with the screen real estate you get well it's hard to tell the two the back Layout pretty much looks the same. Well, there's a, well, I can't tell. No, I think they're pretty much the same. I was gonna say it looks like there may be some extras on there, but no. Same amount of sensors, looks like. But I think I'm gonna like it. I'm not keeping the two. The two is being traded in. I think they offered um, 220 for it for the Pixel Watch 2 Wi-Fi edition. I don't know how much they were offering for the LTE, but um, I don't need two Pixel Watches. So 220 bucks is pretty good during the pre-order. So save a little money on this one. 
Um, that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to it. It's the watch. Just a quick little walkthrough. I did get the Pixel 9 Pro uh, fold case. I guess I can open that real quick and just throw it in here. I don't do, want to do a separate video just for a case. So I'll throw it in here. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Pixel Watch 3, 45 millimeter edition. Check it out. So anybody that's waiting to get theirs, this is what you got to look forward to. I think I'm going to like it. I like the other two watches. Uh, I was looking forward to improved battery life and increased size, screen size. So I got both of those. So we'll see how it goes. But that's it. I will talk to you later. Peace.